the Word. That's how those seven colors are revealed. And what happens is that because we're shown this in Genesis chapter 9, we're revealed the covenant and the token of the covenant of God, which was Jesus Christ. You see, when Jesus was crucified, it wasn't done in secret. He wasn't hiding away somewhere. It wasn't, um, you know, in a cave or in a courtroom somewhere at a government tribunal somewhere. It was out in the open. And at least one guy at the base of the cross got it. When Jesus bowed his head, gave up the ghost, said, It is finished. A Roman soldier, a Gentile. Truly, this man was the Son of God. See, that Roman soldier was looking up and seeing the rainbow. God's covenant with man through the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he was seeing. And so, and, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on the rest of this. But I, I want you to get this idea that God, the light, shining through His Word, the water of His Word, revealing to mankind His covenant, His promise, His, His love. And if you go read Genesis chapter 9, after God had already destroyed the world with, with the flood, He then, you know, Noah comes off the ark and, and all, they start you know, repopulating and God tells Noah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a covenant with you. Really, God, what do I have to do? Nothing. I'm just telling you right now that I promise from this day forward I will never again destroy the world with water. Never will. I won't do it. And God said, I'm going to give you the sign that you can have this unconditional promise. I'm going to give you the sign. The bow that is in the cloud. When I bring the cloud over the land, God's going to do it. When I bring the cloud over, you're going to look up there. You're going to see the bow in the cloud. That's my sign. That's my covenant with you. I absolutely love that. One more verse I want to leave you with today. Hebrews 12.1 Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. You know what that means? And I said this earlier. Most people will not, will not read a Bible. So you know what God's looking for? And what God already has? Witnesses. A cloud of witnesses. People. Normal people. Like you and I. People who've got problems. People who've got baggage. People that are weak. People that are sinners. People that have messed themselves up. People that have gotten themselves in trouble. People that try to live right find it really, really hard to do. Those are the people that God picked consistently throughout the Bible. And that's you and I today. We're the cloud of witnesses. So watch this. You and I are the ones with the light. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light. So here we have the word you and I are supposed to be reading the Word. Then the Word, the light of the Word, is going into us. <laughs> and what comes out of us is the glory of the Lord. The seven rainbow colors coming out of us. You know what's happening? You and I are revealing God's covenant to people. You and I, go forth. Jesus said, go forth. Witness to all nations. Teaching them to make disciples of everybody. Show them what I told you. Show them my covenant. What is God saying to us? His light is going to shine through us. In our, and by the way, we're like 70 some odd percent water. He's going to shine through us. And from us is revealed the glory of the Lord and God's covenant and God's promise. And so, let's say that Let's say that you came from a, 
a background where you did a lot of drugs, drank a lot, smoked, told dirty jokes, and slept with a lot of people. And God saves you. And God begins to shine His light through you, through the water of your life, and all those things. And people know you're different. And you happened along a path of someone else who drinks and does drugs and smokes stuff and runs around and chases women or men and all of this stuff. It's never intended that you should go, Oh, you're a terrible sinner! Because you go, I used to be that way. Part of me still wants to be that way. But I know there's a way of escape. I wonder if God would let me talk to this person and show them God's covenant. And you go to them, not bragging about how good you are. You go to them and say, let me show you my tattoos. That's, that's a nice set of tattoos you got there. Let me show you the ones I had put on years ago. I cover them up now because God's helped me live a little bit different life. And all of a sudden now, you, a filthy, rotten, wretched, scarred sinner, are shining the light of God's glory through you and the rainbow colors of His covenant are being made to other people. And they say, you know what? I've been looking for a way out of this life. Tried to kill myself a couple times. I think I need to be saved. See how it works? Man, it's a good God. He's a good God to us, people. But that's the, so far... That's the significance of what this, this rainbow symbolism is on this, on this prism. Here it is right here. Okay, Take a look at it. That's the significance of it. Because if there is a real Jesus, there is a fake Jesus. Fake one. And what we're going to look at next week is the symbolism of this rainbow idea in the occult. And it occurred to me what this prism was. It occurred to me what it was. So instead of us just relying upon what the news will tell us about what's going on, we can learn it from the pure, unaltered, inerrant Word of God. I trust this book. And God's glory will shine through it. This is Pastor Mike. I love you. I, I've, enjoy, I've enjoyed myself. I've enjoyed doing this. And I hope, even though I don't have any tattoos, I hope that you know of me over the years. But I'm not perfect, never have been. All I wanted to do one day when God sat me down and had a talk with me years ago, I said, God, if you'll help me, I'll try to help other people. God's been letting me do that over the years, and I hope that I can help you and be a blessing to you. I hope that you see from me this book, which I didn't write, shining through me, and you see through a very flawed, weak individual the glory of Almighty God. You'll know His covenant. You'll know His promises. Unconditional. Absolutely love it. God bless you. We will see you the next time. Bye-bye.